Saying you don't deserve money is saying you don't deserve to live, point blank, period. Money may not be everything, but everything takes money. And our ability to not only thrive, but actually survive in this world is behind a paywall. And unfortunately, this is a common money block that a lot of people have. And I call it a money block because beliefs like this, whether you realize them or not, will literally block your ability to have money. This is because what we believe becomes what we think. What we think becomes what we do. And our actions, what we do, gets us all the results that we have in life. Too many people try to get more money by learning what to do, like the right accounts to use or the best investments to make but skip over the first steps of changing their mindset and healing their relationship with money and it keeps them stuck. I personally did this for years. I stayed stuck in debt. I was living paycheck to paycheck until I learned how to update my internal money beliefs that were causing my self-sabotaging actions with or without my knowledge. For example, I believed that it was hard to get money and that I had to work hard to get it. And it's not necessarily my fault that I had this belief. There's a lot of people who believe that all it takes to get rich is hard work and perseverance. But there are a lot of hardworking people who are struggling. When I believed I had to work hard to make money, I would avoid scenarios where I could make money easily, like negotiating my pay or investing. Because I didn't believe it would work because it went against my internal rule of I have to work hard to make money. By avoiding these scenarios that would have helped me make money easily, my belief of I have to work hard to make money actually became a self fulfilling prophecy. I had to continue to work hard to make money because I did not take the opportunities to make money easily. Hard work does not equate to wealth just as everyone is deserving of having money. So the first thing you're going to need to do to start overcoming these limiting beliefs and these money blocks is going to be identify the rules that are no longer serving you, growing you, or making you happy. Then you're going to start finding contradicting evidence to show yourself that you can have a thought that's just a thought and not a truth. For example, if you believe that you are not worthy of having money, I want you to find three reasons why you are. It could look like this. Number one, I live in a society where I require money to survive and I don't have to earn my right to live. You are worthy of life simply for being you. Number two, I can be grateful for my life and still have aspirations that are different from what I'm used to. Number three, money doesn't make people bad. Bad people would be bad people with or without the money. Money simply gives them a microphone. It's a magnifier to who they already were. And I plan to do good with my money. The baseline to having more money in your life is first believing that you are deserving of having more and believing that it is possible for you. If you want to learn more about the five step process I used to go from $40,000 in debt to a millionaire at 30 years old, check our link in bio. You can start with our free trainings or you can apply to work with me as your seven figure mentor.